So is POTS genetic? Big question. The answer is descriptively no. Like there's not a gene that causes POTS and it can because it, POTS is like a multifactorial disease, meaning come from a lot of places. Now, can you have people in your family that have similar presentations, similar body types, similar underlying like conditions on the field? Yeah, for sure. But that also doesn't mean that everybody's destined to have a terrible existence dealing with this problem. It's a, it's a, it's a problem to solve. We had a case just th this last week where we have a daughter who goes through, does really well, has a great time, numbers are better, perfusion is better, back on her feet, doing really great, and then realizes like, you know, my mom dealt with kind of like a similar thing when she was growing up. Maybe we should have her take a look and see if this would be beneficial for her as well. So the moral of the story there is not to look at it as, oh, I have this, I might as well just crawl in a hole and be done there's a more useful or utilitarian way to think about it in terms of just like, how do I dig myself out of this? All sorts of people go through things in their life. Don't make this the thing that keeps you from living yours. See if there's an option for you. Keep working forward. That's my, that's my encouragement for everybody rather than saying like, oh, it's pots. There's nothing I can do. It's genetic. Let's look for a solution. Let's try to do things that are useful. Buy your time back. Get your life back. Good luck.